Good afternoon, uh, the Chairman of Our Defenders and Access to Justice Advocate Center, our Lego Department, co comrades and many viewers, and Prime Minister Solutiona. Live from the Island Avenue branch, we'll have the, the test results of DNA test conducted between uh, Omo Bowalit's son and uh, Mr. Daniel a few weeks ago. The result is out and the two parties are live in our office. So, here are the results. Please join us. Uh, visit our website on www.hldac.org.ng. And follow us on our Facebook page on Human Rights Defenders and Access to Justice Advocate Center Alternative. I subscribe to our YouTube channel on Access to Justice TV. Thank you. Uh, once again, Omo Bowale, right? Omo Bowale. Sorry, I'm not familiar with that. So bear with me if I do not pronounce the name uh, rightly. Okay, uh, the results of this DNA test is, uh, is out today. And we are to announce to the supposed father of the child and to both families and every one of you. Are you still standing on your ground that this supposed child of yours is a child of uh, Mr. Adamilari? Yes, I am. You stand on your ground? Yes. So what if the results turn out uh, opposite of your expectation, negative? Can never be negative. Can never be negative. So if it turns out negative, what would be your reaction? Something is wrong somewhere, but that is not me. Right? Eh? Nothing is doing it or something. It can never be negative. It can never be negative. Yeah, so it's interesting. Okay, that means good morning. Okay. You are here to have the results of the test between you and your supposed child. Okay, what if this result turn out uh, positive like based said, on your doubts? Like I said earlier. Uh, you speak yeah. up, you know the camera is like not I said the thing. last time I was there. Yeah. I said I would take responsibility for him. Eh? I said I would take responsibility for him, which yeah. I've been doing. Before she took him away from one of my kids. We are here today at this junction because she intentionally took him away from my kid and claimed that she wants to concentrate on taking care of him, herself, and her family. That was what she said in front of my family and I. Last time. So, no, don't interrupt me. So there have never been a time that I said I can't take care of Jesse. As a matter of fact, she took him away from under my kid. Okay, is it the DNA test uh, conducted based on now, the fact that she took she no, took the child? She gave me several reasons to doubt the paternity of the test, which I have. And that was what prompted me to ask for the DNA. Yes, that was last year. She absconded. She absconded after I requested for the DNA. Yes. Months later, she came back and said, we are ready for the DNA test. She came back early this year. 
out of nowhere and said we are ready for a DNA test. I have the text message that he sent to me as proof. Now, when I requested for DNA test, my lawyer helped me in getting the info about the DNA test last year. Uh, he gave me a number of uh, the number of sim lab, and I contacted them, and they told me the price, and I was ready to pay the bill, only for us to tell me that if I want to do a DNA test, I want to upgrade and come and do it in a general hospital, of which that was not what he said at the police station after they asked after they asked uh, her that does she uh, that she should provide the son, and she said okay no problem. Only for her to track her statement at the police station, and told me when I when I got my uh, valuables back, and I called her, bring Jason, let's have the paternity test so that we can now move forward with taking care of him. And she said, is it the bastard son that you denied that I should forget about having any son? I should forget that I even have a son that. She and Jason, they relocated to Akure and they've got to start, uh, Jason to start a new life with, his, with a, a new family. That if I want to be in text? Case, yes, everything is well documented. Both texts are even phone conversation. I have it all recorded. So that was the last, that was the last time I heard from her. Only for her to surface early this year. Why are you lying? Stop it, Why is it that you can't hold yourself, woman? Come what may. Yeah. Keep your character to yourself yeah. in your house. Don't bring to the world. Why are you lying? Allow him to talk, woman. Only for her to surface this early this year. She came to my house twice unannounced. The first time she came, she said she she came to pick the remaining of her belongings. And I opened the door for her. She gave me a sack and I told her, I had all your remaining belongings into the store. Go and pick it up yourself. She took the things she bought for JC and left the ones that I bought for him. She came back later again, very early in the morning, and said she wants to come and pick up a week. And I told her there's no week left. So later she now started saying she came to Human Rights and they, I got a message from Human Rights that I should appear here for because she alleged that I refused to do the DNA of uh, her son and I refused the child upkeep of which she threatened in front of my family and I that she has a lawyer friend that she's going to call the lawyer friend the lawyer friend is going to draft out an agreement for now we're going to take care of the child till today no lawyer friend should know um, agreement or any document was sent to me because I immediately contacted my lawyer and my lawyer said before I sign anything I should make sure he refused the document until today she didn't send anything only for her to come to my right that I got a bit from my right. and apart from that I'm not sure if, if you are aware of this I got this message last week from mediation Because I don't understand when why I'll That's be getting why I'll be getting Excuse me. Hello, excuse me, woman. Do you go any other place to report this guy after the attended case here and the DNA result? Is, was conducted and we are yet to receive the results. Yeah. I just want to hear yours or no. Yes. Good and fine. We are going to give him the result and if she tried anything funny from today, deal with her messlessly. Yeah. To your rich. The last time because, the excuse, me. Shows on, you never allow me to talk. excuse me, I allow you to talk. You today, gave your statement first before this. this man. Every evidence you have, you can provide it. And I love this crocodile thing here. I did. I, you I, did I what? This. No, I brought the case in December. But up until like about two months, they didn't do anything about the case. 
So they were like I should come back. So I had to took it, I took it to Justice Court. I registered the case on their email and they said they would get across to you. It was not later after your your secretary then now sent a message because I waited for good two months before. You they can even wait for one year. If it gets to your turn, they want they'll but get to you. There's no way it gets to your turn. There are other people that register cases before you. Me, against me, you didn't hear me how. You said what? The last time he came here, he laid a lot of Were you not here when he was talking? You never allowed me to talk. Don't even say that. You are lying in front of me. I didn't. You lied against him and you are lying against me here. he seated here. That was. The other woman is seated here. I wasn't allowed to talk. I was telling you everything he's saying is a lie. You were not saying. You were giving time to explain yourself. You talked before he responded to your complaints. He can't respond with fabricated allegations that he no allegations. allegations. He was showing you the text message between Man, you and me him. And he's still here. Let me defend myself. And stop lying against me because I'm not, not going to take that from you. You I are lying. You are a blogger liar. You are telling me I did not have, I did not give you time to talk. You explained millions of things from you that and day. Was, it was and he later. was responding it to was you. Later he laid the allegation and I wasn't allowed to talk Explain yet. now. Then I will. Explain now. You are I giving will. the opportunity Let to explain me talk. now. Talk. Let me defend myself. You defend yourself. You put me a lot of integrity Why are you doing this? Have this. Please. Why are you doing this? Are you ready this? to respond or not? Because I have I to be out there to talk. I will. You can respond to so, whatever he says. About eight months ago, we had issues about domestic violence, and he refused to take care of the boy for like a month. I called him; he wasn't picking. He moved to his mom's house; he wasn't picking or doing other things. Like I said the other time, so I called him even when the guy, when the baby fell sick. I called him; he wasn't picking. I called his brother; I called his mom. None of them were responding to this thing. So after some time, I moved some of his valuables and I sent him a message even before then. I sent that a message. Jason was sick. I was alone with this boy. I sent him a message that, Dari, this boy is strong. Come. Dari sent me a message that I should come with my lawyer and a respectable family member before he can come and take care of his son. That is for like a month. So I took his valuable. A month I was still in his house. In that a month, he gave me a month to move out of his house or else he would come and pack all of his valuables and had hand over the key. To his family to the landlord so for a month i didn't hear from dari dari didn't call me dari didn't do anything he wasn't picking my call his mother house is close to my dari is going there every day and he didn't check on our son so i now sent him a text message when I, my son was sick i was alone with the boy and he sent me a text message back that i should go and get a lawyer and a respectable family member then after then then he will come and talk about how to take care of the boy so i really don't want to take this far I do not want to take it far. So I now sent him a text message that I've moved some of the valuables. Come with your lawyer and come and get it with your family. I forwarded back the message he forwarded to me. Then I told him to come and get his valuables and let's sign an agreement on our son's birthday. So that was the whole thing. That was why I left his house. Then he got me arrested. I was detained for 24 hours. I got at the police station. I was telling them that let's him sign an agreement on this boy's update. The, the whole reason behind this is to get his attention. Because I wasn't getting his attention for a month. So I told him, let me let him sign an agreement and I'm going to release this. So I was detained for 24 hours. The following day, the police officer spoke with me. And when they spoke with me, they said they should finish the old dispute for the two of us. And he got there and he said five things. He said he would like to do the DNA of the boy. He would um, I want to go to his family member to apologize. Then the third thing that I want to hand over the wedding certificate to him. So at that point, I don't know where the case or the issue of DNA was actually coming from. I was so surprised and shocked in my bone that how could you? So he said because I came from I came home from ten and from Easter. Then the following week he was intimate with me. We were intimate the following week I was pregnant. That so he's doubting the paternity. So the last time we came here behind the camera, he led four good accusation allegation against me. He can be very convincing because he is good at that. He fabricated a lot of constructive allegations that are false because he went to extract messages just because you want to tarnish my image. Now, the four allegations that he laid against because a lot of his family are watching to watch my shame. Now, for the, the for the DNA, he requested for it, man. My son is already in Akure. 
And when I saw his already in Accra, I told him that, fine, you want the DNA, let's go to Accra and do this DNA, right in the police station. So it was not later, he sent me a text message that I should come and bring this on, then we should talk about how to take care of the boy. That was the same month in December. And I sent him a text message that the boy you claim is a bastard, the boy you claim that I brought a spam outside for you to top the spam, and if a week after I got pregnant, you are not talking about taking care of this boy. I'm not talking about the DNA. I said, you know, it's never going to happen that I'm going to bring the boy back because as I said, then I was trying to get my stand. I was going to get an apartment. I was also going to take care of the boy, taking care of myself. I'm schooling, he's schooling. So I was trying to do these two things together just to balance myself. So after, when I brought the boy back from uh, Akure in February, I sent him a text message. Jason is around. Come and do the DNA. Meanwhile, for like three months, he wasn't calling he wasn't sending any money to take care of this boy. He wasn't even checking on this boy. He didn't say a dime for the past eight months. I now sent him a text message. I didn't abscond. I wasn't running away from the end. Tell me one thing, like when I brought the boy from Lagos, for, from Accra to Lagos, after I've gotten my stand work, I sent him a text message. You can bring the text message out. That come and do the DNA of Jason. We are around. He sent me a text message that he is not ready now whenever he's ready. So I told him, so in one year, if you are not ready to take care of this boy, you won't do the DNA, right? He said, he's not ready now. Whenever he's ready, he will let me know. Of which that means I have to take care of the boy later. For like a month later, when I wasn't getting any response from the woman, right? I sent him a message again. That that way, come, let's do this DNA. Let's settle this thing I'm making. Do the DNA of this boy. Come and start taking care of this boy. I am schooling, he is schooling. I am taking care of him. I'm taking care of myself. It is not easy for me. Come and I was the one, he wasn't running after me to do the DNA. Instead, he abandoned the boy for eight good months. He didn't call, he didn't send any message, he didn't send any money to the boy, nothing. So I sent him a message twice about this DNA. I did not run after him to give me money or to take care of this boy. And ever since he laid the allegation of his identity. And I stood on the ground that you have to do this DNA. But he doesn't want to do the DNA. And that was why I came to, I came and reported this case in December. So after I reported the case in December, that was when, after some time, I now came back again. When he wasn't responding to all the DNA everything, I came back again here. I came to revisit the case and they brought the file out and all of that. And I was giving a uh, what's it called date. So fast forward to all these things. Twice that I've, I've telling you has fast forward again because the same thing you fast forward and fast forward. Twice, excuse me. Hold on. You are the one fast forwarding because I will not take any allegation. I will not take it easy with where you allege me. I'm not going to take it from you. You were given opportunity to talk. And you were saying, making this statement, fast forward to the other thing, fast forward to the other thing. If, I'm give, if, I'm, if I give you time to express yourself and you refuse to express yourself, you can never pass any blames on me because I know the hours I spent on this seat listening to both of you. So speaking it, I mean, putting it on my face, that never let you talk. It's a let down on me, which I'm not going to take from nobody. Don't fast forward anything. Give your detail. Respond back to all his allegations. The essence of sitting down here is to give both of you fair hearing. So don't fast forward nothing. Say exactly what happened. Let's hear you out. So when we came here, I actually brought my own case. I reported based on what happened. I didn't know he has, he has a lot of Allegations, false allegations is really against me. I didn't know. I didn't see it coming. It was after I complained that he later complained behind the camera. And after then, I wasn't allowed, like I said. So now I came here with an evidence against all of his four allegations. Now I'm going to talk about his four allegations that he laid, be he laid against me behind the camera. Because a lot of behind people. Behind the camera? Yes. Not here. He didn't consent to lie. But his audio was there, so he's not behind the camera. Everybody were they, they were hearing what he was saying. No, not live. He didn't consent to the live show. No. Yeah, he didn't consent. The, the, to the first live show. interview was still live. He just he did not consent to show his face. But his audio was there from the beginning. You were showing your face. He was giving his audio. No, I I don't know. There was no video. We were not videoing him because he didn't consent to live. So yes. If there was any other form of recording that day. No, you were talking. You were like, didn't you see yourself? Yes, I was alive. Were you not hearing his voice? No, it wasn't showing. No, it you were no. you must go back and watch no, no, it. No, no. Go ahead. 
No, my it wasn't sure. There is no how you will talk. We can't be interviewing you and you will not be here. But no, go ahead. It's all right. Go ahead. It wasn't sure. So he laid four allegations against me. Then two was before we got married. The other two was when I got married to him. So I didn't see all this coming. All I knew was I was experiencing a lot of hatred from everyone. His families, his friends, their wife, neglection, hatred and everything. I never see any of these things coming at all. Not until when he said it the day I got this case here, I knew why everybody was hating me. Now, he, he said, he laid two alle four allegations against me. Two was before we got married. The first one was, he said, there was a day I went out, then I came back home, I came back with a lot of things. Meanwhile, that day, he wanted to go out for me. I said, no, you can't follow me to where I am going back. He came to. So he came, he, he went home, then I came back because I had an apartment then. We're not, he hasn't proposed, we're just single. I had an apartment then, so I met him in my house then. Then he said, okay, where, where, where am I coming from? So I just told him, I went to a family friend. That, that's where I'm coming from. I didn't know he has cloned my wasa. He cloned my wasa without my consent all those twice. He said it then. Up, yeah, exactly. Even up in dates. He said it that day that he can go to that app. It's permanently cloned that you have access to my wasa. So that day when I got him, I was trying to explain, explain to him that, okay, fine. When he bought the evidence of the shot out. And I said, there's nothing sexual about it. This is a man that came to Akure at my mom's shop, bought a card for me, was stranded, I ate out. Now, I didn't even know who this man is. I do not I do not know his words. I do not know anything. Not until this, when this man went back to uh, London and gave me a call and appreciated me for what I did. Ever since then, we turned brother and sister, and he was always checking up on me that, okay, whenever he came back from uh, what's called London, he's always going to check up on me. So this man came back from London and called me that day, even before that, he will be coming back with his family, that he got some things for me, he will be supporting me with a lot of things, my schools, because I said, then I was actually looking for my, I had MD and I was running a program in, uh, what's it called, University of Lagos. So I had to make a lot of payments, you know, basically that I sponsor myself. So this man now volunteered to like, okay, he said he was going to help me and all of those stuff. So I told that way when that report that the evidence of shouts, the chat with that man, I told that way that there's nothing sexual about this thing. This is just a man I know that is just more like a brother to me and shows me like a sister. That there is nothing sexual about us. Yes, I went to meet him that day. I came back that day. That was Darius' first allegation. Darius' second, second allegation before we got married or before he proposed to me was... When I went to an ex party, a, a, a Saint Paul party, I went to my ex um, Saint Paul party. It was low, relocating to Canada to study. So, wasn't it because we are, you know, in the same group of friends? A lot of our friends, I went. It was it was a called party, Saint Paul party. So I went there and I came back the following morning. I never knew he cloned my phone. All those were again. I never knew. So he cloned the phone again and said, "Where did I go to?" Because that night I didn't think I was going to my. My ex where was it for sent for the party. I never told him that. So he said he showed me this. The former morning I came back, he showed me the message that this is the message that he knew I went to meet man, he knew I went to meet my friend, blah blah blah, all of those stuff. And I told him, fine, I went to meet my ex. We had a party, we had a stand for the party. That was when I knew I cheated on him then. And I agreed to. And I apologized because I knew how he felt. It felt so odd. And I told him that I am sorry it won't happen again. And I told him that if you will be having issue with trust, let us break this relationship. I wouldn't want to go into any relationship and we would have issues about trust. If you know we will have issue on trust, let us part. But he said it's fine that he regretted cloning my wasa without my consent, of which I knew I thought at first when he cloned it, he has stopped. So that was when I cheated on him. When he hasn't proposed to me with my ex that I went to his party. Now, when we got married, we got married you together. Him. When? When we were 16 single. We we're just single, we just started dating. I went to an ex party. Okay. So now the second the his third allegation here was I went to a prayer for Easter. He, he still cloned my WhatsApp. So he said he, he saw a message that stated that I said I am coming. You know, he said, I am coming. So he said, I came back the following, you know, January. I came back January. That I was running around. I was telling him to sleep with me. That he released this specimen inside me. And, and the following week, I, I, I got pregnant. This is the most, 
this graceful essay or statement I can have ever heard from a married man say to his wife that he, 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 he was intimate with me, he released his pain inside of me, and that I came, I got pregnant the, the, the following week, and because of that, you were suspecting me, or because you saw I am coming, are you in the office? You thought I went to shoot. He said, he said here yeah, that I was running around him, chasing him with sex. Now, I'm going to talk about the third allegation, which was when we got married. Now, this is this man knew that I am business oriented. He knew I sell a lot of things. His friend was the one that took us to Akwe. Even his friend brought things. I used to sell sneakers, shoes, round neck for his, 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 his best friend. I sold it for him. He used to buy for me. Now, his friend that took us to Akwe came that Easter because we all went to Akwe. Then he came to uh, you know, Lagos to do um, um, New Year. So the friend, he knew that way, because I understood that I felt, okay, I can't just go to a prayer and sit. That's where my family is. I need to do something. I had to be idle. Okay, let me buy round neck. I put in 50,000. I bought round neck. I used to sell it for 2,000. Okay, I'm going to get 100. Let me take it. Since I grew up in a prayer, I know a lot, a lot of people. I can easily do business, you know, in the Easter time and all of, all of that. So I bought round neck. His friend, even the night before we left to Akure, his friend even brought some of the van neck for me. So he knew I was going to Akure, not only to spend the Easter, but I went to do some business, you know, to raise money. So he knew that. So I do not know, and I would like to see the message that states that I am coming. So he said, I told, he said he cloned my phone, and my phone stated, the message stated that I say that I am coming. That I am coming. He's in the office. He said it the last time he was here. That was his thought. So you are coming. And it's your response to the person that was chatting you, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So that was when, that's the third allegation that he talked about. When, that is when we got married. So he said, because of that, I cheated. And that was why he said he wanted to do the DNA. And because he slept with me, he released a specimen inside. And the following week, I said I was pregnant. So because of that, I, I is denying the paternity of the boy. Now, this is the man that knows I do business or not. You went to extract messages just because you wanted to defend yourself against me. You went to extract messages. He extracted messages and came with it the first time he came here and he put behind the camera. Messages how? The fake messages or messages that actually exist. I don't even know which of the messages. That's why I said I would like to see the message. I don't know even know the message that he said. He said he saw that I said I sent it to someone that is in the office. Yes, when I went to our prayer in December, man, I have a border. We had five. I am the second born. Okay, Samuel, pick up your bag. Let me put this round neck inside. Let's go sell these things. I need to make some money. It doesn't mean that I know where I was coming from. We need to sell this thing. Okay, if I can put fifty thousand, I will get hundred thousand. Put this thing. Let's go sell. You know, do this now. I would like to introduce it to these people, so I will be sending round neck back to you. So you will be selling links for them. So that was the whole reason behind. Probably when you saw that I said, are you in your office? Probably I was going to sell something. I was going to sell all of my brand next. And I didn't go alone. Reason being that I knew I was married. It's not appropriate for me to go stay with someone or to go visit someone alone. So my brother was always following me. Then I wasn't pregnant. My brother was always following me to anywhere I was going. And okay, we'll sell, we'll go back home, we'll sell, we'll go back home. So I guess that is where he saw, he got his message from. Though all those were, he has already cloned my own phone without my consent. So when I got to Akure, when I got back to Lagos, you know, I we, we met each other, we, we missed each other for like two weeks. I saw him, I hugged him. Okay, we had a lot of nice times with everyone. So I think the moment he said, am I in my free period? He, he's this type that doesn't release a specimen. He doesn't want a baby, so we don't want it. But the marriage is always boring to me because, you see, ma'am, he gave me a lot of reason to cheat on him, but I never did. But I'm going to state this reason because you pushed me to the edge whereby I now need to defend myself. Now, I will talk about that as soon as I'm done with education. So, I went to Dari. We had sex together. I think for the first time in our marriage and our relationship, he released a specimen inside. And the following week, I, 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 I was feeling so different and I told him that I need to do a test. So, I think the following week, we now tested and I realized I am pregnant. So, we went to the hospital and... So we got there, the doctor said, I think the end of the month or first week of February or the end of January, the doctor said, okay, I'm four months, two weeks. So he now asked that why. The doctor now said they used to add two weeks to the initial pregnancy stage and all of that. So I said, fine, but any, any way it is, I know he's the father. This is the only man I am with. 
So, I never knew he was doubting me all those while. I never knew. All I knew was he stopped making love with me. When the marriage he stopped making love with me, he stopped completely. Like I used to, I would come back from the hospital and say, ah, that way, let's do this thing. He would say, no. Reason being is because I said the reason why you, you stopped that. So the second allegation, that was the first allegation, and that was what happened at Ali. Now, his fourth allegation, that was after we were denied visa, everything changed. The home, our matrimonial home was a hell for me. It changed completely. It changed completely. So it reminds me, come at home, he knows I work from, you know, I sold from home, I sell online, I do a lot of So the environment, he got an apartment at, since we're not actually moving. So sometimes they come, they sold for 1000 So the money wasn't much. And I was trying to gather money together to get a shop. So sometimes they will come frustrated. And it's because I am at home. That is why I'm doing this, I'm doing that. But you could see that I'm actually trying to work hard and get a shop. So I told him that, fine. There was a day he was supposed to let me take something to Ibadan. My sister is a copper in Ibadan. Ma'am, because I am business-oriented, I know. I used to send the round neck to my sister to sell in his copper's lodge in Ibadan. My sister will sell because we we'll put money together. We knew if we put 100,000 on this thing, we will get a double of it. We will send it. He was supposed to send. That was four months after the first allegation. So I was already four months pregnant. That was his fourth allegation, which is the last, uh, which was the last, uh, the last allegation he actually made here. So I will send one neck to my sister. Sometimes he will take those one neck to the park and send it to me and send it for me. So there was this day he came home and was just frustrated and all that. That way, you let me take this one neck and give it to my sister at the park. You are repeating yourself. No, I wanted to talk about the fourth allegation. His fourth Please, allegation. Be brief, because I have other things to attend. All right. So he said, no, he wasn't going. I said, okay, fine. If you are not going, I will take it to the park myself. He didn't go. This is the guy that Ojota is closer to his month shop where he, he works. So it's just this is the park, this is the shop. He could easily let me take the you know one neck there. So he didn't do it. I took the one neck to Ojota myself. So when I got to Ajota, I was like, what's the need going home? When I knew he's always frustrated, always making home hell for me, just because the, our visa was denied and everything just changed and went so. You stop making love, you make everything so at home. So I just I, I, I just changed my mind. I said, fine, let me go to Akure, let me go from Ibadan. Let me quickly fast track this thing. Make my sister sell this thing. I know some people, I did my high thing in Ibadan. With an, uh, another so what now happened? You are repeating Ibadan, your sister and whatever. Now, it's false allegation. It's yes. false allegation is centered around this thing. Hey, but you what, what you are saying is not necessary. Just go straight to the allegation. All right. So he said, he saw a message that I sent a message to someone. That was the fourth month that I was already, already pregnant. That he said, he saw a message that I said, Honorable, are you in the office? So he said because of that, when he laid his fourth allegation, because of that, that because of that same thing, same message that he saw on my WhatsApp, that Honorable, are you are you in the office? Was that, there any message like that? I do not know. I do not know. But what did you I chat knew was, with any Honorable? Yes, I did. I scored, I, I did my IT in Mado. I did it with Honorable. So I said, Honorable, I have my sister looking for a job. We could easily come. Let me introduce my sister to you, so my sister can sell her neck with you, and as well you can help me, you know, get my sister established, probably anything of job opportunity or anything whatsoever. So I got to you, and I told my sister, okay, now my sister, if you are done selling this thing, let's go and meet Honorable. I and my sister went alone to Honorable's office. So I sold, we sold the van neck. After selling the van neck, Honorable gave my sister the job opportunity. So I went to Ibadan, to Akure, back to Akure, from Ibadan, I went to Akure. So there is a loan I do in Ibadan, in Akure. That is a cooperative. I have 50,000 there. Let me talk. Stop making more pay of me. Let me talk. So I have an I have 50,000 there in that cooperative. All this is just to get money, to make money together and get a shop. So I have this 50,000 there. I took the money we made for Ibadan. I took it to the cooperative to have to eat and get the 100,000. So I got a 100,000 there. I told him, Dari, I'm going to get a shop. So that was where he went to extract a message that said, Honorable, are you in the office? This is the guy I told that when I came back from Akure, I told him that we went out, I went to Ibad. I went to introduce my sister to someone. I was able to sell some things. I was always carrying him along. I told him I'll, I'll be talking to a few of my friends. I'll be talking to a few of my friends to assist me in getting a shop. Since you couldn't assist me, you're always pushing me to always get something, do get something doing and all of those things. 
fun. I'm going to talk to a few of my friends. I grew up having more of male friends. So I said, I'll talk to a few of my friends that we have nothing to do sexually. Then I'm going to talk to them about assisting me with what I have on ground just to get a shop and to get something doing because what I was getting was, it wasn't much. So he knew about it all along. So I started talking to a lot of my friends after I came back from Akwe. I started talking and I was already five months pregnant. So I started talking to some of my friends that, okay, fine, assist me with, you know, anything. These are the messages. These are the messages. I started talking to them that, okay, assist me. He went to a start. There's one of them that is, I extracted the messages from me. I started talking to them that they should assist me. Some of them, I talked to them that, okay, fine. Please, I have my husband. Can you always bring, you know, patronize him, all of those. So I started talking to a lot of people that they should assist me. Man, you can go to it. I have a copy of, of it here. I can give it to you. So, not only that, this is a message of me telling someone to help us with traveling issues. This is, it is a conversation with my friends. With my friends that I went to extract messages on. This is me telling someone that I and my hobby decide to take a traveling, giving a traveling second chance. I was always talking about us with all of my friends. With the honorary. This is not with honorary. Honorary is done. Okay. Honorary is no longer in the picture anymore. Now, these are my friends that I was trying to solicit help from them to get a shop, to rent a shop. So now, this is where that we came up with all of my, you can go through them. You can go through them. So, this Are is where that we, I'm not done. I'm not done. Now, I Summarize. said earlier, man, Summarize. I said earlier that he gave me reason to even shit on him, but I never did. Mm -hmm. If anybody would want me, my husband, I was, to be my friend, that married for more than 30 years and trained me in the way of God. Now, I told that way, that way, this is a man that is addicted to masturbation and pornography. <laughs> Now, ma'am, let me talk. He has pushed me. To, this is a secret I have kept for three good years without telling any man. Even if they ask this man why he never, why he is not a kind of intimate with me sexually, he will tell them that because any any time I he come closer to me, the things I have done for him comes to him. So kills is no. It is not just because he wanted to tarnish the my image, make me bad, make me take the guilt for him. So now. There was a day we were intimate. I'm sorry I said this, but you pushed me to say it. I kept yes. it for two, three years. Yes. Man, this is the Go man. To the this is the man that know. any little thing he brings this to the family, to his family, they will have a copy of all my messages. Even the 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 the, the what's it called? The um um well, the first allegation, the first two allegation, he will bring the copy and give the copies to all his family. He will expose me. Now, I said he gave me reason to shit to so even shit on him, which I never did. So there was a day where being intimate, after being intimate, I you know, went off. All of a sudden, I heard a sound coming from the bedroom. What sound is this? So I went, the door was locked. I sneaked through the down place because I could see there is a sound of, you know, something like more, you know, sex or something like that. So I saw him masturbating and watching pornography. Ma'am, I confronted her. If you want to deny this to make me look bad, no, hold on, Finish hold on. Response. If you want to deny this to make me look bad or a liar again to everyone, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to scourge you from the pain Finish and the shame. No, 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 I will. From the pain and the shame you have caused my entire life and my son. Now, this is the man I saw. I saw him, I converted him that night. And I, why do you have to do this? You are at home. Man? You are at home? Yes, we're both at home. And he went to another room. Yeah, you even changed to another room. I started masturbating. Yes. It was that night after we were done having sex. He went to a toilet yes. and I was much it was much pornography. It was masturbating. I comforted him. Daddy, why are you doing this? He denied it completely. Daddy denied that 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 denied this completely. As I was like, Daddy, you denied this completely. This is what I saw. It was the following morning that he now was not like he saw it happened. After then, a so month he after, he denied it to you. He denied it as well. But some people don't deny it. He even denied it. Some he was doing why. it. Also, why like he has stopped making love with me. I never knew he was even addicted to it. No, no, you can deny this. I have told you. Now this time around, you've pushed me to a state where I'm going to cause it for my face and the shame because my son. Any other son? Yes, my dear, there is. Now the fourth month, the, I think a month or two after, he moved from the male room and moved to the physical room. He now said because there is, I don't take fun because of my son, uh, because of the son that it wasn't fine. I understood that. So I know later for like a month he was sleeping in the room. He was, you know, doing, even before then he used to go and sleep in the room. Was sleeping in the room. But I do not, you know, I do not know where that was actually coming from. So it was not a day I went to 
in the restless room again. Yes, he started masturbating. He started masturbating. This is all this why he has stopped making love with me. I used to like go to him, make the move. Oh, come on, let's do this thing, you know, stuff like that. I am not looking bad, you know that. I am not a rapper wife. I'm always I'm the old, I'm the older and fit. I have my daughter, even my son. I am neat, I am not dirty. So you don't blame, don't put that blame on me. The following, I think a month after, he went, he, he was he went he to the visitor's room. So fine, I wasn't, I didn't care even more at the point. So I now went to spread a morning, very early in the morning. It was on a Thursday. It doesn't go out early on a Thursday because of the environment by his mom's job. So I was going to clean it to take my son to the clinic. So I washed my, my son's um, what's it called, clothes early in the morning. I wanted to go and spread at the back of the room. I saw him again doing the same masturbation and watching pornography. He shut out the window. And this window you can see through from outside, inside. He was doing his normal thing. I didn't say anything. So when he went out there, I just moved his bed. I moved it back to the living room. That was when we had two beds in the room. Even your mom came in that period and slept with us in that main room. But he, she asked, but I just told her that our, our bed is not enough. And I didn't even I didn't even tell his mom that this is the reason reason behind. It. So I you know I brought the bed together and all I was just doing then was okay fine. Let me try and satisfy this guy. Let me try as much as, as, much as I used to because if I used to wear his is on that on that wears. I wear his bosses, I do a lot of things, just look good for him. So I didn't confront him again. I didn't do anything. All I was just doing at that time was, you know, try and, you know, make everything good. I was praying for him. I was doing all, all those things. This is a man that knows I have a place in the room that I call a prayer room that I used to pray for us. I have it like a prayer room. I used to pray physically for us. So that he knew I am not doing all this thing. You knew that. Now, ma, even after a gay bed, we don't, it just seems, it does not. I now asked him one day, like, what's happening? He said because of breast milk. That was the reason. I told him, you and I know the reason behind why you decided not to make love. Don't, don't hide behind breast milk. Don't hide under bad manners or what I used to tell your parents. You and I know the reason why you are doing all this thing. So, even before I left his home, there was nothing. Sometimes you can be in the home for three months. It is once I'll, I'll make the move. I'll go closer to him. That is when he used to be. He used to be mm -hmm. Marriage cannot work in that kind of situation. I am done. Don't ask me if I am done. Okay. Don't ask me if I am All done. Right. Least, you've expressed your feelings, you right? Finished, you finished line, right? I like. Uh, I like. So, Mama, as have you finished? Let us hear the DNA. Yes, have you finished? Just finished. You've expressed. Excuse before, me. Before. You have held all your mind, right? Yes. And you have responded to all the allegation and you've equally satisfied your mind. Okay. I don't want, we're not here for new, uh, we have listened to both of you. No, because she, did, she, she laid an allegation uh, right now. And she actually is trying to punish the name and my name. Okay. If you consented to this live broadcast because you're looking for public sympathy, I'm not looking for public sympathy. There are facts and there are evidences to prove all my claims right here. Now, you said I am addicted to masturbation. I masturbate. This was what happened on that fateful night. Both of us were on the bed. We were getting into the moon. But she raised up an issue and I told her. The issue, I think the issue was about my sister. So it got her in a foul mood because of my stand on the issue. And she suddenly stopped. You understand? So I then went, I started moving close to her. She was more like pushing me away that she's no longer in the room. So that was what prompted me to go into the bedroom and try to relieve myself. So that was what happened that night. Then she came, she sat down beside the door, opened the door slightly. And she came, she was not like, uh, that if this is what I'm doing to you, that, that she can actually help me out. And I said, no, that I denied the uh, watching the phone. Then she now said that she, she sat down at the door and she saw me. And I said, okay, yes, that's fine. She caught me both. It was because of what she did. So we made up that night and we went back to bed. And that was the only time I'd been about God. 
Now, that day that I made those allegations, uh, you know what she did? She couldn't respond to those allegations. She went back. The person that has been coaching her uh, has not given her points on way to defend herself. The so-called honorable that she's talking about, uh, I didn't say she was going to the woman's office. It was a conversation between her and her sister. Oh, the okay. morning that she was coming, that she was supposed to come to Lagos. This is the conversation. Now, when she came to Lagos, I knew she was coming to Lagos. Uh, but because I was one, I, I even sent her transport to Faith. Nice. You sent me transport to I sent her transport to Faith. Nice. She called me that Sunday morning and told me that she didn't have that was, enough. That was Easter. And I, that was that day. And I sent her transport nice. to Faith to come back to Lagos. Now, on getting to Lagos, we still had a pending issue because uh, I told her that I gave, I gave your brother your brother's money. That one of them, remember. one of them did not uh, no say thank you, and I was I, and I was trying to admonish her. You see the problem. You see the problem you are having with every other person, including me here. Sorry, ma. You're just lying. You will talk for how long? And not that. What makes you think everything you said is true? No, it's and he's not he's not challenging you and you cannot be patient enough to bear his lies it's okay ma'am listen but he's, he's all lies. so if it's like this in this office how has it been in your house so sorry to sorry for the uh, cutting short of this now she uh, she now told me that uh, that if that is the case because i i told her that if somebody else outside is your brother something and he doesn't appreciate for so thank you the person might feel bad but he's in the family i just felt that i need to tell you about it and she got angry and she said is it because of the one thousand i give my brother if if that's the case don't give him any money i said it doesn't gotten up to that so that was what that's the argument we had prior to her coming back she came back that sunday and then uh, uh, she tried making up with me and i told her that fine it's okay the next thing was that she told me that she downloaded an application that shows her menstrual circle and that she's free. That uh, I, I, I should release inside. I told her that we, had, we have a plan. And you yourself told me that you don't have any free period. That the way your body system is at any moment that you can take in. And I said, I said, no, that don't let us take that risk. But she kept on piling the pressure that uh, she, she's married uh, that this stage that she has said that she look at the app blah, blah, blah. so i gave in that was on a sunday sunday monday tuesday then by wednesday i came back from work and she was looking somewhat gloomy and i was like what is the issue she said nothing i said okay no problem the following week she sent me a message via whatsapp baby i'm pregnant this is it here Okay, nevertheless, there is no point of all that. The DNA test here will tell, will tell us the stand of the routine. If she has been cheating in the relationship and the child does not belong to you, we don't need all these traits. You give her the child to go and take good care of herself or of the child or locate another father of the child. And if eventually the child belongs to you, then possibly she, uh, she did not cheat within the period both of your assets. A woman can have sex with how many men? And it's only one that will have the child. Exactly. Yes. So, and a woman can be faithful in her relationship. Probably, maybe, she, but I for, for, from her statement, you heard what she said. I cannot, uh, uh, it's not justifiable for someone to be in a relationship and you watch your partner masturbating, be you man or woman. Exactly. And the satisfaction you need by masturbating, you have the, your spouse there to satisfy you. So come what me, you either just uh, cross your mind and forget about having sex, or otherwise you go there, have it with your with your partner. Some people have even the same uh, sex with their partner, even while they're not even happy, they're not even in love with the person, they hate the person, but they still have sex with the person. So you can decide to, to, to ease yourself with the same partner, other than going to masturbate and do all trash, because biblically it's not even good, spiritually it's not even good, because it can affect you negatively. And that's what some of us don't understand. That aside, then also, if you have a partner, if you satisfy yourself through masturbation, 
and you don't know how the partner feel at that moment if his or her own urge desire you you are tempting this person to cheat on you in that in that relationship because if you are just out there you are not married or whatever you feel okay if you are not uh, if your urge did not require genet maybe you want to go for a route or whatever but if you are married because it demands you respect your matrimonial bed and that respect must be that love that interest that in fact that intimacy must come in definitely because you cannot just be in a relationship because of material things you let material be let it be secondary because material things can never give you joy cannot give you hope cannot give you anything close to peace in your life first you choose what you love then go in for it after which any other thing material you want should be an addition of secondary you get me so if you have ever done that for whatever reason is bad because if this relationship did not work out and it formed between you and somebody else i don't think there is any woman or man that would tolerate watching your wife watching pono and masturbating herself or watching your husband masturbating himself whereas you are in that house that is the height of humiliation you are killing the person emotionally. You are derailing him or her. You are equally killing the interest for both for both of you. Come what may, whatever be the issue between both of you, must find an alternative on how to resolve the issue. No masturbating. If you have the high urge, play with the person. Do it. But that doesn't mean you can't air your mind. You cannot express your pains. You cannot release your pain. You can do that even in the course or even after. Because that can lead to a lot of things in marriage. It can lead to separation. It can lead to distrust. It can lead to betraying. It can lead to cheating. It can lead to even death. Because some that cannot even be here, it may decide to take their life. Is it the man? What is going on? Is it that I'm not attractive, attracted to my, to my wife anymore? Is she having it with somebody else and seeing me? I don't look like a man to her. To the extent I don't feel attracted to her and she's even doing it. A man can take his life for those that cannot withstand tension and pressure. Or such. A woman can equally do that. So such shouldn't exist at all. Either between two of you or with that two of I mean, with any other person. It's not good. Then we'll go, my dear sister, you know, uh, relationship is easy but difficult very easy when you find somebody that is your friend very difficult when you see opposite of you if you are in a relationship with somebody of your like mind it's as sweet as honey, as easy as you drink Coke and Fanta. But if you are with opposite, as in you are thinking left, the person is thinking right. If you assume you are in hell already existing on earth before your death. Because there is nothing you can do that will please the person. There is nothing you can do that will satisfy the person. There is nothing you can do that can give the such person joy. And if you really want to be in a relationship, mostly when it comes to marriage, if you have ever done anything comparing your partner to distrust you, you must find every avenue to win his or her trust back again. How you started matters. But some people can be so stupid that they will not care how you started. How you started matters, but some people can be so hopeless that they don't even know change is inevitable. You meet a prostitute in a in a in a hotel, right? You have your really your your reason of going there is to just have fun, according to some of you. Less noise. 
less noise. Your purpose of going there is to just satisfy your sexual urge. But in the course of doing that, you meet the, the prostitute with a good character. Then you forget her work as a prostitute. You now forget her lifestyle. But that is what is earning from. If she find any other thing, she say, okay, probably she don't even know any other means or source of living. Marrying the person, you took her from there. You know what she was into. You look at the character and you married her. Then every slight mistake, you said you are a prostitute. Didn't I meet you in the hotel? Are you not a prostitute? Did she not ask you? Did she lie to you that she was not a prostitute? No. You met her in the hotel and you choose to marry her. So why robbing it on her again? Why not let go of that prostitution and face the reality of what both of you are facing now? You talk about, okay, she's insulting you. Yes, she's stubborn, she's insulting. Why leaving this? issue of insult and stubbornness and challenge or any other thing and you are calling her name you are a prostitute you are an arm robber are we discussing a robbery here we are discussing marriage why are you talking about robbery and prostitution one i told you that day that you have no single right not even in marriage if it comes to rights but if you really want, you don't trust your partner. That is why some people go as far as paying the cheaters, cheaters and whatever to track their, their spouse and all that, their boyfriend, girlfriend, or husband and wife and all that, to be sure of the kind of partner they stay with. Instead of going that extra mile, challenge your doubts and allow her to explain to you you clone her phone, which is against her right. You bug into her privacy. No lawyer will tell you that what you did is right, whether married or not married. Then after you, de you declone her phone, or maybe you are still cloning her phone, and she told you that this happened when both of you have not married, even when you have not proposed her, which most of you, even men, does that. So they'll propose you. They are still sleeping around all manners of women. They did a man pay your diary and you pack your things and go to his house. That is when you call yourself a married woman. Propose is no marriage. Engagement ring is no marriage. If you engage person one million times and you did not marry, one million people call, they will drop that engagement ring. And go for who is ready to take you for marriage as a wife. Then you were, you were prognosing into her lifestyle, into her private life and all that, which resulted you having doubt in her sincerity in the relationship. And which can also affect your sexual feelings for her. Because when you don't trust your partner, you will always have the reason of having less feeling for him or her. And when the person has proven to you that he or she is not a faithful partner when both of you are married, then you have the cause of being afraid or be feeling this person is doing this, is cheating on me, is doing that or that. But when it becomes the things of where both of you were single, you have not paid her diary, and all that and all that, you shouldn't bring that because she was not answerable to you. She, you were not married to her. So you can't question her movement, her lifestyle then. Why am I saying all this? I'm saying this so that if both of you have any reason to think twice in going back to your relationship, you know where or little where you can make amendments. And if you choose to go on with your life because marriage is not by force, you, have, you should be able to know where you have wronged here and make correction in another one.
if she clone your phone, there is no way she will not find error in you. You are not Jesus and you are not Mohammed. There is nobody that cannot err. It might not be sexual aspect, it might be other things. If you did not toast to my women may want to toast you. After all, you are a tailor. Both men come to you, women come to you. You are dealing with say, unisex or both sex come to you. You can be tempted or tempt any other person. The, the power to withhold and stand and also derail from where you be tempted and bring shame and disgrace to yourself and to your spouse is what we are talking about here. So please, let's let go of the past. After the DNA result is being read, then we think of what time, we think of what next to do with both of you, because you are both young, and how the, up, the upbringing of the child should be put paramount between both of you. This result, I may decide not to even read it. I will give it to them to take for. You get me. So if you disturb me too much on this, I will just make photocopy, give them, share the result to them, and I will ask them to go to go and read the result. Mm -hmm. So if it is like that, so what will you do? Will you will you disturb me? Will you hold it against me? I must not read the result. You have to. It's not your result. It's their result. No, no, no. All right, let's go straight to the point. Let no more talk. We we'll have the child name, Jasmine, and the father, Damilari. The results, the results read from the child D3S1358. The child is 15, 17. The supposed father is 15. A VWA 4.5. 4.40, the child is 15, 18, diary is 15. D1 says S539, the child 0 0.84, the child is 11, 13, the father is 9, 11. CSF1 PO 9.87, the child is 9, 12, the supposed father is 7, 9. CPOX 0 0.50, the child is 8.9, the, the supposed father is 8.14. D8S1179, 3.52, the child is 11.13, the supposed father is 11.14. D21S11, 1.03, the child is 30, 32.2, the supposed father is 29.13. D1 8S51 1.61 the child is 14 17 the supposed father is 14 18 D2 S441 4.60 the supposed child is 11 12 the supposed father is 11 12 D19S433, 35.06, the child is 11, 12.2, the supposed father is 12.2, TH01, 4.34, the child is 7, the supposed father is 7. D22S1045, 2.59, the child is 11-17. The supposed father is 16-17. D5S818, 1.49. The child is 12-13. The supposed father is 
D7SH201.68, the, so the child is 812, the supposed father is 1112. SE333.04, the child is 2328.2, the supposed father is 1928.2. D10S1248, 4.88, the child is 1215, the supposed father is 1213. D1S1C56, 4.55, the child is 15.316, the supposed father is 11, 15.3. D2S1338, 9.20, the child is 23, the supposed father is 23. Interpretation. Combined Paternity Index. Uh, Damien, uh, what is her name again? Omo. From this result, from the result I've read so far, tell me what you are sensing it. I don't know what is the father. You don't know. You don't know this result, but it is his father. I can see you related numbers. But related or unrelated? Related. All related. All related. All related number. I can see the numbers are. I don't really. I don't really understand. But I can see you calling fourteen one is twelve. I can see. It's the father. It's the father. Mm -hmm. the and, father. Uh, you for nothing. You with me? I've not even read the result. You are saying it's shame on you. Are yeah, you even with that DNA? Man, are you a the boy? Order. I'm coming with Odo. Are you? Are you? Are you a? Are you a DNA specialist? Eh? I'm not, but I knew who's left to me. I know I was faithful to him all through the marriage. Now, if it, let me bring a boy for you. Don't bring a boy. It is the two of them have resemblance everything because Darry wanted to defend himself against okay. me. Okay, Darry, do you have any? Do you have, excuse me, excuse me, madam. Do you have any reason from this result? Do you understand that the child is not yours or the child is yours? No, I don't understand uh, any of what. I'm, I'm only waiting for you to say it is positive or. Negative. Okay. But let me just state something clear. Okay. The reason why I asked for a paternity test was this. After she carried Jesse out of her matrimonial home, and she said she wants to go and concentrate on taking care of her son, herself, and her family. That was what prompted me to want to know if that is not your nice room, uh, no, no, listen, you have said it to different no, no. Okay, let's read. It's okay, let's read. No, let's no. say the final result at least. The alleged father is not excluded as the biological father of the tested no, child no. Uh, based on the testing result obtained from the analysis of the DNA was listed. The, the, no, the, no. the probability, Yusuf, you have problem. The probability of paternity is 99.9999998%. This probability of paternity is calculated by comparing to an untested, unrelated, random individual of the general population as zero proud possibility equal. So the child belongs to you. Thank you very much. Is this your child? This is the result. Thank you very much. I need a, I need a, I need a copy of this.
All right, Dari, what do you have to tell us in this regard? Because that excuse you are giving is not excuse enough. That's, you say you take the child that is uh, for the child, they want to take care of the child. That if someone says they want to take care of the child, does that mean you should you should that is not the only reason. Uh, that's just one of the many reasons. Okay. Uh, and the while she was pregnant with this child, okay, listen. While she was pregnant with this child, she went to a prayer. Twice. I expected you to say I'm sorry. I'm not even. I don't. I'm not expecting no, any of these. Uh, you, you, you is this the okay? But now the child belongs to you. If she went, even if she went to uh, Abuja or she went to uh, uh, London. Now you know the child belongs to you, so there was there was not any cheating as far as the, the pregnancy and the marriage is concerned. I have not come out to say that she cheated on me. Is it not what you are emphasizing? Only, on? That's only, what you have been emphasizing. I, on on, now. I only I only requested for DNA for that child to be hundred percent sure. If you trust, if you trusted her, will you demand for DNA? She gave me reason not to trust her. Anything, and you said you did not. You are not doubting her. Now you said you are not doubting her. Later you said whatever, whatever. So she gave me the reason not to trust her. Like I said, like I said uh, the last time I was here, if it turns out positive, I'll take care of well, Jason. Two weeks after the DNA, the boy fell sick. I watched him. It was itchy. I called Darren. Darren, where are you? Jason is sick. I watched him to the school. I called Darren instantly. Darren said, he is not around. The way he is, he's not, he cannot get to it for daddy. And that his brother is, no, let me talk. Let me talk. And that his brother is going to call me. Ma'am, his brother called, his brother was lying. His brother was telling me that he is not in Lagos. And that he told me, where he is, he can't get to it for we'll do that night around 11. I stayed in hospital for two weeks, taking care of that boy alone. I was working, I was taking care of him. I had to pay the hospital bills. That he didn't check on me for that two weeks. It's not like that. I didn't know the boy was his own. Where is the? It's not that you didn't know this boy was your own. That is, you wanted to make me feel like it, like like, like you wanted to make you feel you useless. Made this payment, Abby. Yes. This is the original copy. Thank you. Uh, give me an undertaking form. For two weeks, his, his brother called. His brother was lying to me that he's not in Lagos. Only if his brother knew how hot it is for me. To lie to me that someone you are restricting from seeing his own son, I was alone taking care of him. Please, did you call after that? Please, enlighten the people where I was. If you know that you I was told me, okay. you told me, if you know, ma'am, all this time, all this time, that he was coming and packing his luggages from when? the apartment when that you rented, moving it close to the probably going back to his mother's house or anything. I don't know. He was moving his, his luggage for I think they called him from this office, said it was not in the Exactly. He told them we was on. I was. I had the secretary was there together. He told the secretary that he is not around the Kenja. Firstly, secondly, no, he said he was not in Lagos. No, he said it twice, mm -hmm. ma'am. Mm -hmm. This is the secretary. He said he was not. He is not close to Ikeja. Later, he now called. He said he is not in Lagos. He I didn't call. Your secretary called me back. Ma, so what did he say that day when you called him? What was the two things that he said? Please, stop. Oh, that was what you said. The same thing that happened to you when I called you that Jason when was you sick. Called is the same me, thing you repeated. Can I just, can I, can I just let me talk? When you called me uh, in the uh, middle of the night, I called my brother after speaking to you. So I you called, can, you must not sit there now. You can, you can only transcend, transfer money to I to take care I, of the I, child. I, I called, I called my brother, who is uh, <laughs> well, who, who, who is quickly write this so I can do other things. You will. The phone is over. You uh, you you take care of the child henceforth. Now that it's called that the child belongs to you. No, you take full responsibility. Uh, I'll be taking responsibility uh, of the child even before I write any other thing. And uh, you said it now. You put it right. You now you have to sit down here. That is what is going to be attached to you before saying. Oh I don't understand what you said it, but you still put it in right. No, what I'm that. saying is that yeah. I will. We are going to agree. Is she leaving the child with me after custody or she wants the custody to be shared? How old is the child? One year, eight months. Child cannot be in your custody now. Your lawyer is supposed to have told you by now. 
Now, if the child cannot be in my custody, then she's going to give me access to him. Sure. No, she has to also write on the paper. You are not the one to tell me what to do. You do your work. You are in my office. I know the right thing to do. You write yours, and none of you will deny access, each other access to the child. In that your undertaking, you will see indicate on no account are you going to seize the child, whether on visit or on, on outing or anything. I don't need to seize. Uh, I don't bring need to a, seize. what is it called? Uh, um, some. For some of you, the release child, that is when you could seize the child and be saying all this and that. None of you should seize the child. The child should be visiting both parents and have fun. And whenever she needs the child outing, if the child is staying with her and you want to visit the child, you want to. Take care of what to like spend weekend or whatever with the child. You take the child and return the child back to her. Because the child is still, still very little to be released to anybody while the mother is still sound and well. But you guys were married now. <laughs> You're legally married. So have you people separated legally? Eight months. Eight months is too small. What can't you people uh, make, I mean, try to sort out this issue for the sake of the child? Darren. Can I speak? Yes, please. You know, it's easy to Pride cannot do it's, nothing. This this issue, it's easy to look at it from outside and just conclude. If you are in a marriage with someone and under one year and they are, your wife is already consulting with the lawyer on how to go about divorce, then you know that the person was actually with you because of what she can gain. No, it's I not, did not. It's not in all, in all cases. So I, 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 I did not. Ability let me, to manage. Let, let, yeah, let, 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 let me explain something to you. Allow him now. I thought you are a married woman or even a street woman. Allow this man to even express himself for once. I was trying to take permission to talk. What permission? Somebody is talking, you will not let him talk. If I let you talk, you want to fast forward. He want to talk, at least for now, he see your husband. Ah. Excuse me. Please, please, so, please, 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 I beg. I don't need stress. So, I have my sorry. own stress. So. Sorry, sorry, sorry about it. So, she herself came to me. We had issues there in December. She came to me <sighs> and she, she told me to my face that she was already consulting with a lawyer friend on, on divorce. That the lawyer friend told her that the marriage is not up to two years that's there's no base for it. that they, the only base for divorce is either i cheat on her or uh, domestic violence and when hearing the, all those things i was amazed but i still managed to reconcile with her this same woman sitting down here told me to my for face is your wife learn how to respect her Come what may you are not divorced here. Some of you should sound like a responsible person. Okay. You sound like a learned person, but I don't see sign of respect and on I mean whatever in you. She's still the uh, mother of your of your child. Let's drop mother. She she's still your wife. As at this moment, I'm talking to you. Give her that due respect. Okay, so African men. My wife sitting down here. Ha. Huh. She told me to my face that our marriage is caging up. Mm. Now, apart from that, I asked her, what do you mean by marriage? That I've not stopped you from making money. I've not stopped you from doing anything. Said our marriage is caging up. Then she now told me to my face again that 
if me am not ready to go about the traveling stuff again, that it will be better that both of us, a lawyer friend, you call a lawyer friend, a lawyer friend will draft a bit of separation, that she will take our son to a to our parents, that me, I'll go and find out that she will, she will, go, she will travel, then she will, me, I'll go and find out to better my life, then we can be taking care of this. And they will do we will sign agreement on how to take care of this. And we were still married. So this thing is not a case of me pushing her out of the marriage. She has been wanting to leave the marriage ever since the traveling thing to work out. While I was at the station, she's alleging you that you're alleging her that I don't even know what people have kept. If kept in America, that that they, the marriage Excuse cannot me. work again because of traveling out Excuse of me. Nigeria. I did, not, I did not marry her because of traveling. I so, why is that centered on that? Because that is, is, that, that is the reason why I feel she did. Me. I don't because know at the police station, the DCO told me to my face that, this, that my wife. Uh, was just with me because of this. How will you confirm that? After the DPO, the DCO, and about three other female police officers sat her down, they told me to go out. They tried cancelling her on how for us to resolve the issue. She refused. And she told them that she will not return my properties until I sign agreement on taking care of Jesse. That was when the DCO now said, in fact, that let them detain her. That she's proving stubborn. Okay, there is no problem. That's we don't, let's not go all that because I have other things to attend. We've heard all that before now. Since it's beyond what we can say, it's only God that sees the spiritual. Exactly. And I pray uh, God intervention in it. With the will of God for both of you to be married, let him intervene. You can decide, you may choose, you can choose, but what God chooses is the final. So, uh, my dear sister, come watch me. You need to calm down, please. Yeah. You need to calm down. I know how you feel if you have been alleged wrongly, but nevertheless, marriage cannot easily work the way you are reacting in everything. I have my own on my body. I cannot tell you I'm perfect in my marriage. Neither am I telling you that my husband is the perfect man on earth. Everybody has their own issue, bothering them from all angles. But I will still have to say it the little way I feel I can say it to anybody that comes before me, mostly when it comes to the issue of marriage and all that. You will calm down. If you can interrupt him in the house where both of you are talking, Learn not to do that in the public when you have a thought party between both of you. You can be married to somebody younger than you, even of your age, or even of your low standard. But as long as you accepted that person as your husband or wife, respect that person. Because if there is no respect, I wonder how what both of you have thought about each other before go out. Before you you settle in marriage, you get me. The body language is not really it's not really appealing. I must be sincere to you. Dare, 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 dare. I don't know if they, that if that is that is what people are calling each other. Or this woman seated there, dare. This woman seated there, dare. None of you have made single mistake to say even the pet name that you have called yourself. Just eight months. That the pet's name has disappeared. At times, I'm having, I'll be having an issue with my husband. I'll forget, even at times, since self will forget that we're quarreling. He will pay, even while he shouts, he say, Baby, mind yourself. And he will say, Once he say, Baby, with the tune you want to use to respond to the person, hearing that baby alone, your tension will calm down. So, this marriage of these days, we we'll just pray, let God help us succeed like our parents succeed in marriage. Otherwise, I don't know where we'll be going. You calm down. As a woman, you will calm down. No, you feel bad, but you still calm down. It's not everything you 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 say that will come out and whatever. 
there are some families you are married to, it will be a hell. But if you love the man and the man is with you, you will not regret anybody that is against you. It will be like one with God is majority. But when you are married to somebody that sell your out to everybody, sell your out to friends, family, and all that, that is when you'll be scared and the house will become hell for you. If you are with your husband is with you, please, you calm down for every other thing and let you to sort out uh, the differences. I said you should write that you will know we said you need to bring it to you because the same thing she's going to write. Now, hmm. the boy has started school. And the school in me is here. This at this junction now that the boy is here. That's what he wrote. I said you'll be taking responsibility of the child. The responsibility of the child is full oh, responsibility now. You don't have any is it, is it going somebody that pay how much is the boy's school fees? How do you school in here? How much? <laughs> You don't know, you don't have idea. It's accumulation of a lot of your school <laughs> at this junction. Is it so? Is it so? That's like 99,500. 99,500. Let me tell you how things are going to be done from today. Who we'll pay 150,000 for DNA test can still afford his child's school fees. But at, at, at this junction, he knows this child belongs to him. So the school fees are not that, are not that now. If you are not taking full responsibility of it, is the one taking. It must be something both of you must discuss without sentiments. You cannot say, it's your child. I'm going to enroll the child into school of one million. For that reason, you should pay. No, he's the one paying. So he should know. What, which one is comfortable for him that he will not default, he will be paid for the child's school fees and you know he, this child clothes and he feeds and he wants to still support. So don't tender bills to his leg or to him without considering his source of income. Who born one child is still willing to born again and who born the child is still willing to save for himself and other of his responsibility. So whatever you are giving to him must have to be with understanding. The school the child is going to, is both of you have to discuss it, this is where he's going, and this is the reason why they should be going to this school, not with harsh tone, not with rudeness, not with arrogancy. I keep saying, all this shouting of a thing, there is nothing shout can give to you in marriage. Yeah, 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 yeah. So after you shout, you will still want, you will leave it unsettled. Tomorrow again, you start the same thing. You will shout again when you are supposed to sit down and discuss modalities, how things should be done in a proper way. You shout, use it to shout out. Then at the end, you will not have outcome. Ma, this is man. I'll be the one chasing the ass. They did not help me to make him do all these things. He will call, he will have to make sure his mom, everybody is seated there before he decides. He cannot decide on his own. That is his life. Do you just discover that after marriage, or you just know that it's mommy, mommy and that family? Is why I don't want any. I me just... that was paying your own school fees. You paid it, huh? Me that was paying your school fees of over 100,000. I've been taking care of yourself for the past eight months. And you know Excuse how much me. I, I, don't, I, I don't need all this talk. Go and sort yourself out. There is no marriage here. You and I can't, even, I can't even waste my energy to, to talk into this. this kind of relationship. You get me. Okay. You are too big. It's too big. Everybody is big. Nobody is uh, superior to each other. Nobody is a man. Nobody is a wife. This man here, this woman here. So I, know, I don't need... I must, as I'm sitting here, I have a lot of stress, a lot of things bothering me and disturbing me. So I don't want anybody, there is nobody that is free of stress. Buari will tell you what is his own stress. So please, you should not engage me with too much talk. Please write your undertaking there that you will not deprive him of his child anytime he needs that. You give, get, grant him access to his son. And you also hence maintain peace with him in the course of this child uh, upkeep. Because if you call him and send him a certain text, even if you appear before Supreme Court, he will still have his word to say. 
or you take two to tango. You must not be married for you and somebody to discuss welfare of your child. You are too big for a man. You go and marry somebody that is, is equal to you. I don't need all this stress here. What is to this bit? Which one they will see his child of visiting I know for now this is happening. So you want to talk on how when you will be coming to you don't sit down. I know for now this is happening. He will work on Monday to Saturday. I hope this will not bring part two of the problem. He will see his child on the visiting day. Which one is visiting day? You can't just call me on the Monday morning and say you want to come and see his son. When I'm asking Which you, one is visiting day? I'm That's what I'm asking Sunday. you. Why not Sunday? Or he goes to the boys' school on their break time and see him Monday to Friday. But you can't come to my house and say you want to come and see him. No. Either on Monday or he goes to his school in their break time Monday to Friday and see him. Which day is Sunday. comfortable for you? Is this Saturday? Is this Sunday? Because I also understand you are such a busy person too. What I can say is, Monday to Friday, hmm. she can have custody of Jason. Okay. Now, in a month, there are four weeks. So, the second weekend and the last weekend, I will have custody of Jason. It's better. Second, that is once in a month, right? That's twice in twice a month. Twice in a month. Now, ma'am, let the custody be defined. Does it mean you are taking him from me? To your place mm -hmm. to you spend stay, weekend with him. To spend weekend with him. Yes. <laughs> you have a problem with that. Yeah. He doesn't have a house anymore. He has moved to his mom's house. How do you know that? Even if he has moved to his mom, that is a family okay, house. People that hated me and my son and abandoned us for eight yeah, months. But as far as that is concerned, this is their son and it's their grandson. Ma, you have to, I have to check where he's taking my son to. You know the family has you been there. I don't know. I don't know. Uh -huh. You don't know the family has. I don't know house. where he is now. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I, what you will do? Bring the child here. Keep my. the child here and return the child here. No problem. Yeah. Right, it you will see the child twice now. So he you come here, kick the child. On Saturday, go, you bring the child here on Monday. Oh, you, yeah. uh, you take the child to school on Monday. And as far as the school goes, both of us will actually have to sit down and discuss about the school is going to happen. Because clearly, in the first instance, while we were together, she was one that brought the pay slip from the school close to us, which is 54,000. And I said, both of us will go and check out the school. And it was going to start school this January. So if you are bringing a pay slip, of ninety nine thousand five hundred, I don't have ninety nine thousand five hundred. It doesn't. Okay, it doesn't right. matter whether yeah, the child going school. to school now. Yes, my you started school. You started. Yeah, school. And you. So the uh, the kids. So, that is how much. That is the idea. I've not paid for this month. I've been doing for credit. You just started last month. How much? The total money, the uniform, the a lot of the school figure going. Can you can. If you take a look because at. Just started, if you take a look at what is like that. You see how ridiculous this is. But you can put on fifty down to do the pen. Ninety nine thousand five hundred. You can look at the breakdown. See. The number is there. You can pull the screen. The two thousand twenty five thousand stationery one thousand five hundred first eight five hundred uniform twenty five thousand uniform twenty five thousand. How many uniform? I think they don't give them two uniform. Then two sports wear with shoes. The number is there. Cardigan three thousand. School lesson five thousand. Examination one five, practical five five hundred, registration fee two thousand, sportswear six five. No, it's a different thing. And sportswear is different from the uniform. You can call the number, ma'am. You can call the number. No, ma'am. what you people will do? At least you are the ones you are paid. But and I've said it from the from all said. Both of you transportation how much twenty thousand. 
end of the year, uh, whatever, party, 7,000. Well, I said it earlier. Either you are ready to support, let it be 70, 30, if they, you want the child going to this school, or both of you have to look for school that is convenient for him to be paying. That is what I'm saying. He's not a salary and he's, part of, he's a business person and you know what business is all about. If you're a salary and you know, at every month you are earning 100,000, 50,000, come what's made, they'll pay you, but it's going to be, it's just, it's going to be delayed. You will, then you now plan yourself, okay, the child will be going to school of 50,000 and uh, feeding will be this, feeding will, that will be that. You cannot compare nobody. In my own office, if you are not uh, comfortable, you can appeal to any other office as every other person is hearing. You can, you just have to make things easy for every other person. You are a working class woman and he saw that child belongs to you too. If you insist that the child must be going to that school, then both of you should do it 70 30. He brings 70, you bring 30, then the child will be going there. But if he's going to take full responsibility of the child's school fees, then both of you have to discuss the modality, the comfort, the one that is comfortable for him at least an average school, that he will be paying without the 40. Yeah, on a monthly basis. Let me go offline so that I can attend to other people. The son is uh, one year what? One year, eight months. One year, eight months. Right. Yeah. On a monthly basis. I know how much I spend on this position. Because you choose to, madam. There are people that doesn't have, and they find what they can afford within their means. If you are if you are rich enough, my dear sister, you will treat your child like a rich a rich woman's son. Just go ahead. I do. Boy. You cannot compare him. He will do it within his own ability. You will do it within your own reach, within your own ability. Let him not force you that the child must go yeah, to quiz whatever school. What is that? Does this one look like? Because you are quick to record him. That's why he used to be calling. And him comparing you to send a child to where he cannot afford, or you send him to no, it's not it's not done that way. This country is just too good for anybody to force each other, anybody to do something out of their own which under pressure. That is what I'm saying. To avoid problem here and there, and you going to another place instead of looking for time to do your business and work, you want to go to woman right here, you want to go to court here. Please think wisely as a as a woman. Calm down yourself and put this into consideration to avoid all this kind of story talking here and there. Take care of the child if you have the money. Consider his income. Let him enroll the child where he can easily pay. I don't want a revisit of this case in my office again, please. Thank you very much. She alleged that she has made four million in the past three months. Me, I don't. I'm not a millionaire. No middle. Have account. you retained that? No, you've not concluded on that. So, if she says this is the school she wants to send, that's what. She doesn't have the I'm not going to do Madam, write this statement. I thought you were speaking English in my office as if you're a PhD. You put this thing down the way I said it now. He will have access to his child twice in a month. You say last Sunday of uh, last week. Uh, second weekend and last weekend. Second weekend and last weekend. So every last Friday and uh, uh, second, second last Friday. Second and last what Friday. you bring the child to our office, let him pick the child there, and he will submit your child to you here. Since you you this office is existing. Bring the child here, you return the child here, you pick it, you pick it from here, you pick the child also from here. If since you don't want to go to their house. I'm sorry, ma, I didn't agree to that. Okay. To their house, right? No yeah. problem. They can they will pick the child there and you pick your child here. And the two days has to be reduced to one day. Uh -huh. He's still he's still a young boy. Someone that can't talk. Two days and he's still, one he, he, he can't, can't talk. talk. He, he can't, can't talk. It's not, but you will take him to be. I don't know. Video you video that you him see, to. I, uh -uh. and is the reason why I said go and know the place. I need to know. I need to know where you're taking. I need to know who is taking care you of me. I can't believe my, my boy like that. House. You say you, but you told us it's your family. Is family? I don't know where house. he is presently. You just told uh, everybody where I am now. Because that is where you pack your things to. But yeah, I don't so, know where you live. Okay, what you will do? Write it that way. When before he comes to this place, we must have gone to confirm his address. You wrote your address here, right? Yes, it's uh, my mom's place. No, I, I don't think I, I don't think I wrote my address. Please yeah. write it. Okay. 
You write the full address. So then I also need to know where she is also staying to. So I can go and be picking the boy there. Your address. This is not what I asked you to write. I mean, I would not want you to make this difficult for me. I've respected you enough and you are expressing me here and I'm not going to tolerate that. You are going to pay for this thing you did for this is not an undertaking. You cannot complain me here. I'm sitting here for the benefit of both of you and the child. And if you stress me further, I will not like it. Say what I ask you to write. Because I cannot for any reason because of you people's differences and deprive this right, this child a better uptake. So you have to come that I've talked to you like a reasonable person and I will not tolerate any of this attitude again. This is not what I asked you to write. Your office, your address is to be confirmed by us. His address is to be confirmed by us. And both of you have to trust this office to pick this, your child here. And you come and pick your child from here. So there is no any going to be, if she come here to come and take the child, or oh, why are you coming to pick the child? Is this, are you supposed to come by one hour? Are you supposed to come by two hours? To so avoid all this kind of stress. If you people understand each other without any issue, you must not go to the house to pick the child or to drop, the, I mean, to, uh, go to the road to pick the child or drop the child. I know where I am bringing the child. And if I come there, I'll pick my child. If you said, I am coming to your family house. I'm not entering the house. Dare, I'm at the gate. Come and pick the child. Leave the child. When you go there, Dare, I'm outside to pick my child. He brings the child. But when there is no understanding and peace is yet to abide, that is the reason why I want you people to give this gap. Please, uh, another undertaking for me. You get me? So that you can uh, 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 bring your child and you take the child from here without any stress. You just have to calm down yourself first. Calm down yourself for the benefit of that baby. But how am I supposed to okay. trust the people that hated me and hated his son? How am I supposed to trust my son with them? I will take him for this. Okay, hold on. Mary, take the child for one day first. You understand me? Let the dust, let the raising dust come first. Okay, please. You know you you are the man here, and you have to act like a man. I'm also feeling her emotion. If you hate me, I don't know how we need to relate. You get me? Please calm down because okay. they relate. Don't talk again. Act like this man. All right, no problem. This child will definitely grow, and it's your child. Nobody's dragging it with you. Time will come that this child will come to you. And the child will decide, no, mommy, I'm not coming back. I want to stay one month with my dad. Let's consider all this and stop dragging this innocent child here and there. Please. Let's not be talking about, no, you must spend two days, you must spend five days, or one week, or whatever. Please, let's start with the day first. Take the child on Friday. You return the child on Sunday. Please. To enable the child to resume school. Okay, so... Uh, Dami, please. Because I don't, see, I don't see I don't see how logical it is. If both of us are in a group, then we will force the child to get that. And that, that is what I'm saying. If it's like this now, that is what I'm telling her. If it's going to be a day, let's agree on a day. And you take the child, return the child. To avoid stress, my dear sister. A okay? point of correction, my family does not hate this thing. And my family does not hate her. When you never say they hate her. That I hate just to say her. Don't talk. Are you a talkative? You have your own problem, Mr. Man. Why must you talk? It's okay now. I just go beg you people. People should allow me now for cry out loud. No what kind of case that I will not settle and let go? Let's 
person. Let's have finish at this thing. Our advice, you come to feed the child. Okay? You come to pick the child. We avail you his address. You know where your child is being taken to. Please. I feel your pain. Let's take calm down. There's nothing that is impossible. Please. Please. I know this child has been staying with her all the while. So there is even going to be difficult to keep the child how many days for a start. That is day meeting on Friday. Uh, what is it called? Pick on Friday evening, return on Monday or uh, Sunday morning. It's okay. So that you can even study how this child can cope if he's going to cry or through, if he's going to miss the mother, is going to do that. All things are things that they need to put into consideration. Please. Yeah. This address you write is that where you are staying present. That will be so when he texts or he calls that he's coming to pick the up for a child, you call this office, then they will now text you the address. Is that okay by you? This picture you brought it. The, were, were you here before he came? Wait, no. Oh, your first day. Were you here with his picture before he came? So there's no point of his picture anymore. Now, why did you bring Yeah, it's like that. If they invite someone that is not found, if the only one that's going to be here, they will definitely show who she's a legend. If the person refused to comply. Yeah, you can. Okay, that is so.